Good morning, Mountain View. I'm Aaron Atkins, and we're here with Mountain View City Councilman Mike Kasperzak, who is currently campaigning for a position in the State Assembly representing the 24th District. As Mayor and Councilman, Mr. Kasperzak has served Mountain View since 1998 and became City Councilman in 1999 and served as Mayor in 2003 and 2012. He has been a resident of our community since 1977, and he's here with us now. Good morning, Councilman. Good morning, Aaron. It's great to be here. So first off, I noticed on your campaign you made it a big part uh, to include UC admissions reform. Can you talk right. about that? Yeah, I mean, everybody in California, California high school students, want to go to the UC system. And what came out with UC favoring out-of-state students who could pay full tuition, I felt was just was horrible for our state residents. I really think UC system needs to be focusing on California high school graduates. And I think the legislature really needs to step up and make it possible for the UC system to have the resources necessary to educate our students, not out-of-state students. That's a very good point. Also, as a large part of your campaign, you made the housing crisis a very large topic. Right. Yes. Can you tell me about that as well? Well, everybody that lives in the Bay Area knows how terrible housing is. I actually don't know what your generation is going to do when it comes to housing. I don't know that you want to live with your parents, but housing is so expensive here. When I moved here, you could buy a house for $100,000, and that was expensive. That same house today is $2.5 million. I couldn't buy my house. So we really need to be doing things, and in the legislature, the legislature needs to be doing things to make it so that we can build more housing, uh, it's less expensive, it's cheaper to build, and that we have the resources in areas like the Bay Area so people can afford to live and not have to commute 90 minutes to two hours to and from work every day. I noticed that that's been a very big hot button issue this campaign. Uh, what makes your uh, what makes your approach and your campaign different from your competitors? Or I think the big difference is I've been serving in local government for over 21 years, 16 years as an elected member of the city council, twice as mayor. I was president of the League of California Cities, representing 482 cities across the state in Sacramento. So I have, the exper I have more experience than all of the Democratic candidates combined. I really know the issues backwards and forwards. And I, I think just the level of experience, my knowledge, is what really separates me from the other candidates. So I noticed that on your website, other than some of the more hot button issues like rent stabilization, UC admissions, you had some other large topics that not, no other candidate seemed to be tackling, like a criminal justice reform. What do you have to say about that? Well, I think, we, one, we spend so much money on criminal justice in California and, and across the country, and yet we're always looking for money for education, the UC system like we talked about, and we should be putting more money into those things instead of the criminal justice system. And I actually do think decriminalization and possibly legalization of marijuana may be one of the ways that we can start saving money on corrections and criminal justice and funnel some of those resources to other areas where we really need it. In regard to these topics that seem pretty close to home for a lot of high schoolers and some of our audience members, uh, what do you, are there any opportunities that you think that some of the high schoolers and our audience could do to help gain in on the cause? Well, I think you know, getting involved in local government and in political campaigns is a great opportunity for high school kids. I was involved when I was in high school and in college. And like right now in our political campaign, there's opportunities around precinct walking. And we win, when we win the primary and get into the general election, there'll be opportunities for precinct walking, organization, and internship opportunities, both in my campaign and in all sorts of campaigns, whether it's for Hillary or Bernie or you know, other, other candidates. But getting involved in, in government is a great way to get to know your community and get involved. Uh, kind of going back on something you said earlier, I know you kind of passed that, but uh, on the topic of rent stabilization, you said that you wanted to create more low-income housing around Mountain right. View. How do you think uh, that'll affect Google and other industry in Mountain View, if at all? Well, I know Google really is concerned about housing in general. They, you know, they don't like their employees having to live, you know, an hour, two hours away from work. They're very encouraged by Mountain, by the city council's efforts to add housing into the North Bayshore area. We're looking at the potential of up to 10,000 housing units in the North Bayshore. That would be good for Google. That wouldn't all be quote unquote affordable housing or subsidized housing. But we need more housing in Mountain View and throughout the Bay Area because so many people want to live here. 
That's true. It's a very popular place to live. What, and uh, I think that's in regards to the, um, so I guess, subsidized Google. Do you think Google subsidized housing is a viable option for low income housing? Well, Google subsidized housing? Google, was your, what's your opinion on Google subsidized housing? In the well, I'm, I'm sorry, repeat the question. Uh, I noticed that some of your peers are very into the environmental science scene, in particular Pat Showalter with the um, Clean and Healthy Bay Initiative. Right. Are you doing any, or do you have any initiatives that regard to the environment? Well, yes. I mean, well, one, I have solar on my house. I have a, a battery in my garage. So I'm, I'm very big on solar and renewable energy. Uh, I've in all of my council elections, I've always been endorsed by the League of Conservation Voters and the Sierra Club. I also am, am very big around water issues. I serve on the, the Bay Area Water Supply and Conservation Agency, and we need to be doing a lot around water, capturing stormwater, refilling the aquifers, uh, and on-site reuse. So there's a ton of work to be done in water sustainability as well as greenhouse gas reduction. And those are my two main focuses. All right. Well, I mean, I, th I think that's about all the time that we have. For more information on Mike Kasperzak for City Council, you can visit his website at www.kasperzakforassembly.com or his Facebook page of the same name.